Ladies and gentlemen, some of you might have heard of this Black woman that went to a food court and it was um, Egyptian food. And she was trying to pay for her food with change. And this Egyptian business owner had a problem with her paying with change. And he actually flipped out on her, called her at the N word, threw a full bottle of Gatorade at her and also sprayed her with hot pepper. Our people have a serious problem. And I know this goes all the way back to chattel slavery, where our people had to take a lot of abuse and still forgive Massa. But see, we have now gone way beyond that, ladies and gentlemen. Now we are forgiving these foreigners that came to this country and earning their way off of the black community. We haven't come to the realization that you do not have to love or forgive people that abuse you. And I just have to conclude that some of us have evolved and some of us are very much mental slaves. You're the best slave that ever existed because see, they don't even have to put chains on you. So after being abused like that, this woman said she forgives this man that did this to her, although he didn't even ask her for forgiveness. He didn't even ask her for it. And she said she would go back there and spend her money again. She would go back there and be a customer after all of this. See, <clears throat> I saw this story a few days ago and I was going to do it. But I said, let me wait. Something just told me to just hold off on doing this story and just wait. And she did what I dread she would do. I, I had it in the back of my mind. She was going to forgive this. And ladies and gentlemen, she just did it. Our people are never going to learn. You do not have to love anybody that's racist. You don't have to love anybody that's abusive. And you do not have to love those that go out of their way to be negative towards you. You don't have to love these people. They may have an expectation that we love them, but they're not entitled to it. What have they done to earn that love in all this time? Nothing. And that's why they will get nothing when it comes down to me. The problem with so many people among us, they don't even respect themselves. In order for this woman to be treated like this openly out in public, and then she can turn around and forgive, it tells me she must don't care very much about herself. She doesn't care who disrespects her. Only if we could show that kind of love for each other and not for a bunch of outsiders, we would be so much better as in a community. You know, it disgusts me so much. Seeing this, I, I'm not even going to read the story, but I will play the video so you can hear what this woman 
has to say. This is on NBC. <sighs> KGW8. I'll leave the link to this article in the description box. I don't want to say I'm okay, but I am okay. Carlotta Washington is doing a lot better now than she was 24 hours ago. That's when she walked up to the small Pharaoh's food cart at Fifth and Star. She ordered a favorite, lamb over rice. This situation has really set me back tremendously. I mean, it, it, I can't lie and deny, and I don't want to act like I'm Mary Poppins and thinking that everything is sugar and spice and everything nice. It's not. Washington elected to pay for some of her meal with spare change. She says it angered the man behind the counter, and he went on the offensive. The N word and the F word and the B word. I mean, he just was, it was just like a, the fireworks going off. He just was just angry. Some of that anger was caught on camera as Washington pulled out her cell phone and started rolling. What else do you want to call me? Now you don't have anything to say, do you? Well, I'll make sure I got you, okay? Okay, I'll the make sure. you hear me with. Uh, action and reaction. Islam El Masri, who's now facing harassment and assault charges, says he has a lot going on in his private life, and it got the best of him. He adds, one thing he's not is a racist. My father is black. I am African too. My father is black. I need him to know that I understand. It doesn't make it right, but I understand. Carlotta Washington says she's forgiven El Masri. And she hopes others can, too. We got to show love because that's what's going to make our world great again is showing love and compassion and stop turning a blind eye to when people are getting hurt. Yeah, some good advice for sure. Carlotta Washington says she does plan to return to small pharaohs in the future, though it might take some time. As for Islam El Masri, as you saw in the piece there, he did make his first court appearance earlier today. He's due back in court later this month. Chris. All right, Mike Benner live. Thanks, Mike. You know what, ladies and gentlemen, his BS about my father is black is just that. It's bullshit. Okay. If that's the case, then that should have been the reason why he respected this black woman because he had a black father, but he didn't do that. He just treated her like she was just yesterday's garbage. I don't accept this garbage from people talking about, well, I got a black friend and I got a black father. I got a black grandparent. Obviously, it's not keeping you from treating black people like dirt. I don't want to hear that shit. And that's not an excuse. Nobody should accept that excuse. He's sitting here trying to claim to have a black parent, but disrespects a black woman. That should have been the reason why you should be respecting her because you have black family members, not the opposite. That's bullshit and I don't accept it. <sighs> Please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. Support my channel if you're able to, and I will see you on the next video. Peace, family.